I wish I could be there with you. Obviously, I can't because y'all are in Georgia and I'm out here in Texas, but um, I just wanted you to know that I'm thinking of you and that I love you. But to make your birthday a little bit more special, um, I decided to do this video that is going to be 70 reasons why I love you since it's your 70th birthday. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I decided to take my glasses off because I was getting a glare from the windows. But um, yeah. First off, Daddy, you are caring and you are kind. Incredibly goofy, which <laughs> is probably why I'm as goofy as I am. Very dependable, very loyal, hilarious. Um, I don't think that there's a day that goes by that we're not laughing at something you've said or some joke you've made or something. You're also very generous. Um, you're also very strong. Uh, uh, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> you're supportive. <laughs> you're also hardworking. Um, you're very thoughtful. You're always thinking of others. You can fix anything with duct tape. There is nothing that you can't fix if you got some duct tape. <laughs> you put others first. You're strong-willed. <laughs> you never let something keep you down. Um, when you broke your hip in five different pieces and the doctor said you're probably never going to walk again and, and all that jazz, um, you didn't let it keep you down. In fact, you know, you went on to run marathons and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, you never let anything keep you down, Daddy. <laughs> you're also a fighter. You're a man of God. Also, you're an animal lover. You take care of the horse next door and the stray cat that comes around every now and then. and. Any kind of, any animal anywhere, you just, you love them and you take care of them. You've always loved me no matter what. And you always apologize anytime you've done something wrong. You're always, you always apologize. You always encourage me to be my best. You'll pray for anyone at any time, anywhere about anything. If someone needs prayer, you are the, the go-to man. They can go to you. You will literally give me the shirt off of your back. Literally, <laughs> I remember all those mornings or any time I've ever been cold, but all those mornings um, at the bus stop when I would be cold and you would always say, you want my shirt? And you start taking it off. And I go, no, 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 because then you'll get cold. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you drove me to school every single day, daddy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you for that. You taught me scriptures that I still know to this day. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You always sang with me in the car and you still do. We have our whole list of songs that we sing all the time and um, scriptures that we say and it means a lot to me, Dad. You always wave bye to me when I leave. I don't know if you know how much that means to me, but it really does. You always hug me when I leave. You always tell me you love me when I leave. Makes me feel very loved. <laughs> Everyone is your brother or your sister. <laughs> You've never met a stranger. <laughs> You've served your country. You also serve and love your family. Always giving. You bring a smile to anyone's face. No matter how bad of a day someone could be having, you, uh, <laughs> you, you know how to make them smile. You've gone to every school function, field trip, anything I've ever had and you've kept everything that I've ever made. <laughs> you've been my mud pie making buddy since day one. You've always comforted me when I'm hurt. You taught me about old cars. You're also my antique shopping buddy. <laughs> my bowling buddy, my football watching buddy, my hockey watching buddy, really any sport watching buddy. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune watching buddy, my Jeopardy watching buddy. You've always been my number one supporter, next to mom, obviously. You even built me a playhouse in Georgia. You've, you've always tried to give me everything I ever wanted, Daddy, and it, it means a lot to me. You've been my best friend all my life. <laughs> Not many people can say that, you know, just you and mom. You've never left me. You know, a lot of people, um, they don't have their dads or their dads, you know, leave them for something else or for someone else or whatever, but you've never left me and you've never left us. So thank you. You have always been there and taking care of me and the rest of the family. Always eager to help other people. I have never seen you not wanting to help people. You're passionate about God, passionate about other people getting to know God. I'm tearing up a little bit, tearing up a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> You're a worshiper. Always want to do what God wants you to do. You used to run marathons. What on earth? How cool is that? <laughs> Chased off a bear in the woods. 
You're also an amazing plant dad. I'm sitting in the sunroom because it's one of my favorite places to sit now. I bought some flowers the other day. But um, behind me here, or, um, or in front of me, I guess, in front of me here are all the plants that you take care of every single day. And since you all have been gone the last couple of weeks and I've had to take care of them, I'm like, whoa, like, you, you do a lot around here, Dad. Um, and I don't say thank you enough, so thank you. You're also an amazing dog and cat dad. <laughs> you take care of our dogs and our cats. Make sure they're fed and that they're happy and that they are in and out and that they, you know, never really want for anything. <laughs> you have never let my car be dirty. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. My car has never been dirty if you're around. Um, Cause your baby don't drive no dirty car. <laughs> Also, no one who visits leaves with a dirty car either. You're always washing people's cars or trying to help them out. <laughs> you taught me to value life. You taught me to love God, and you've taught me that He loves me. You taught me to always put my best into everything I do, to give it my all. You taught me to love others. You taught me the importance of following God and listening to His voice to guide me. You've taught me what I need to look for in a future husband. You've never chosen anything over your family. I can't um, emphasize that enough, how much that means to me that you have been a part of our lives for so long. And, um, and that goes for all of your family, your distant and close family. You've always been there for your family. Not many people can say that. <laughs> And lastly, you've shown me the closest thing to what our Heavenly Father is like. And that means more to me than anything else. I could go on and on about how much you've impacted my life, Daddy. 70 reasons why I love you doesn't even begin to cover it. But um, thank you for being my dad and for being the best one that I could have ever asked for. Thank you for being my best friend and for always loving me. I wish I could be with you today, but just know that I'm beyond blessed to have you in my life, and I love you with all my heart and all my chickens. <laughs> well, I hope for your birthday you get some black eyed peas, cornbread, and a big Spanish onion. <laughs> I love you, Daddy.